Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Redbeard. So today we have, it's been a while since I've done an Irish whiskey, uh, probably since uh, St. Patrick's Day, March maybe. So this is Rider's Tear Copper Pot Irish Whiskey. So um, I've recently been trying to knock out some of the more budget uh, whiskeys in general just I got way too many bottles on my hand and uh, I just need to get rid of them I mean drink up the old stuff and make make way for the new so it says a unique vatting of single pot steel and single malt Irish whiskey triple distilled for extra smoothness aged and matured to perfection in flame charred barrels bourbon barrels Distilled entirely of barley in traditional Irish copper pot stills, bursting with flavor and complexity. Mm. It's got tasting notes on the back, but I haven't read the tasting notes in a while. So, so like most Irish whiskeys, very floral. Got some baking spices in there. Just it's soft and pretty. It's a, I mean, Irish whiskey is soft and pretty. There's most of them, not all of them, but most of them. Yeah, that's just a a gentle, non-invasive Irish whiskey. Pretty much here. Let's see what the tasting note says. Nose. Flashes of apple with hints of vanilla and honey over a distinctive, distinctively Irish pot steel base. Let's see if we get some flashes of apple. Mm, maybe a little bit. But I would have never picked that up before I read it. Yeah, definitely... Uh, Vanilla and honey. Taste gently spiced with a burst of ginger and hey, that's our word. And butterscotch with background notes, 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 notes of row and uh, notes of toasted oak. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely drinkable. Uh, I should have did this in a blind. Uh, I think I did a blind tasting with this one a while back. Uh, finish. Long, elegant finish with subtle notes of milk chocolate and almonds. Yeah, not really, but hey. I, I mean, it's just an easy drinking Irish whiskey. This one is relatively comparatively priced with Jameson and Proper 12 although this one tastes better <laughs> than Proper 12 um, I haven't had Jameson in a while or at least had yeah, it's probably been since March since I've drank Jameson maybe on the rocks at the bar if somebody b bought it for me I don't know um, but all in all it's it's okay man it's a good budget Irish whiskey yeah. Not really much else to say about it. <laughs> it's a decent budget Irish whiskey. So if you like it, if you had it before, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, nothing spectacular. It's 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 good. It's drinkable. It'd probably be something nice if uh, it'd be a good change of pace if you're trying to shop for like a uh, a Crown Royal drinker just to throw them off, change it up a little bit. I think this would probably be a good one. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So 
like always check the description below for all the links to help out around here help pay the bills got tattered beans teespring patreon I even got my paypal down there if you want to just shoot me a donation uh check out the bearded idiots we're pretty funny well at least we think we're funny uh, and yeah that's it so like always drink some whiskey share it with your friends and family take care be safe don't drink and drive have a good night we'll see you next time yeah i'll finish it